Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys had a great weekend. And uh, yeah, hope you guys, uh, those of you who went out to Glastonbury, there was all these festivals everywhere. Everyone was out. Um, it was really nice weather. So I'm sure some of you guys enjoyed that. I didn't get to enjoy much of it. I did work most of the weekend. And uh, some of you might have seen the K-Rending that I did uh, at the garden house. Um, also did... Um, uh, finished off on the 7x4 as well I had to do the guttering and stuff like that so didn't really get to film it was just busy just me on my own so just wanted to get it all sort of finished uh, by the weekend but we are back on the timber frame extension and um, today we are going to be starting the boxing of the steels um, so we've got um, we've got Kent and uh, Tristan we haven't got Mitchell he's done now as we said, uh, if you guys saw the video, meet Mitchell, he had a little chat, told you a little bit about himself. So yeah, he's going back to Dominica. Um, unfortunate, sad news is his grandfather did pass away, um, literally the day after we did that video. So, um, you know, we all, uh, I'm sure many of you will send your condolences to him. And um, yeah, and uh, we'll, 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 we'll catch up with him soon. So um, yeah, so we are just the three of us here today anyway. And we're going to crack on and see if we can get um, these steels boarded up. So we're just boxing in these steels right now. Boxing them in, boxing them in, boxing them all in. Down to here. This side as well, boxing in. This side here. Let me take it around to there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring the plaster board right up to the top of that steel beam there and this beam is going to be painted. We've got a fireboard there that we're going to be using to wrap it. Unscrew it to the... Mm. Yeah, I've got to get one in there so that we can create something yeah, for the yeah. ceiling to screw onto as yeah, well. Yeah. So we're going to fix that. We're going to add a piece of plaster for the ceiling. Uh, let's have a look. My tape. The tape measure there, please. Take out this side. This is wood, yeah. There's a whole piece of holes in there. Give me the um, saw a second. Hand saw a minute. The hand saw. Okay. No hand saw. Take something there a minute. All the wood, right? Yes. Thirty-two. 
girl. And then knock it. Yeah. Jam it down tight on the plasterboard, on the edge of the plasterboard. Yeah. Let's do that one first. Yeah, as long as, it, as long as it's touching it, that's good there, yeah. Tight, yeah, screw that one and then adjust and then adjust it. Yeah, I wife with the thing, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make your own up sometimes. Yeah, man. And that's mine on the side. Don't forget your hook. Mm. Make one. Pretty good to be there. And it does the job, mate. What's the name of that brand? That's a hoax. <laughs> <laughs>
like that, inside pack, like that. Mm -hmm. Do you typically use this to scrape out the bucket? Mm -hmm. Do you typically use this one? I also use a, a larger one, but it's a little one. Just use a little small trowel for a little brick. Okay. Easier to get it into the hole, you know, get in the gap. I might have to mix up some more. Hi guys, so we are done for the day. Everybody is shattered, everybody wants to go home. I want to go home, certainly. But yeah, guys, we're done. This is what we have managed to do today. Mainly boxing in the steels that needed boxing in, so they're all done. We had to do all the framing for that. We had to uh, obviously put the plasterboard in that. Um, I did some hard wall as well in those exposed brick areas as a bonding coat or undercoat, so I did there. We sorted out that little brick bit there that was broken. We did that, we did that as well. And uh, obviously I've done that side as well. Now the petition, well, there is gonna be a petition here, so it's not gonna be completely open. It's gonna have a door here. I'll explain that another time. This ended up being very similar to what it was like before. It's pretty much gonna be sort of an L, an L here, and there's gonna be a door. We wanted to have the door going through, straight through. So if you come from the front door, you could sort of, looks straight through to the back um but the problem i'm having with this well one is opening the door if you open it there it's sort of going to open onto the cabinet units which is not the end of the world but also this bathroom here is a downstairs toilet and basically the door sort of opens this way and to me that's not good to have that opening there there's a doorway if there's a doorway here to escape through the kitchen and then have this door slam into you so um yeah basically we're not going to put a door here so i think the door's going to go back here and it's going to open onto this wall here so this door won't hit anybody through the corridor and then this door won't hit anybody leaving the kitchen so that's the idea for that you guys tell me what you think about that um but yeah this is basically pretty much it so we've got to do tomorrow we've got a lot of patching to do you're gonna have to cut all this ceiling out cut this section out here plasterboard it cut this section out plasterboard it um round here then we need to do the other side of the steel the last bit i'll show you guys in the extension we just got the last bit to do here basically 
So now that this is all done, we can finish the last bits here, connect it, box of framing up there, connect it to the steel. And um, we also gonna dot and dab around all this as well. Dot and dab all around that, and then just have the steel exposed. So tomorrow we should have this all plasterboarded and only that exposed steel exposed. Hopefully the paint comes tomorrow as well. It's supposed to come tomorrow. So if it comes tomorrow, another job we can do is start painting the steel as well. Yeah, guys, so that is it. So we are off. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, I'm not sure how well we did the filming because it was just busy. I had my head down and a lot of things going on. Um, but anyway, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. So thanks for watching and take care. Thank you.